Sports. Good morning, friends. Today, I bring you a game called Besiege. Uh, it is a Steam game. And if you simply type it in Google, you can find it on Steam. It is one of my favorite games to play because it is just... I love playing with Besiege because it reminds me a little bit of the fun physics simulator. You get to build amazing, cool items and then you get to use them in the gameplay. It is what is called an early access game. So two years ago this came out and you can obtain it for only $10, but it may not ever be finished and it may not do exactly what you want. But for $10, it gives you some pretty cool gameplay and game time. So here is what Besiege looks like when you launch it. Uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to beat Ypsilon. And let's just do this one piece at a time together. So I'm going to go back to the Zone 1. I've conquered many of these, but I'm going to restart them. When you launch, it gives you a mission, which this time I've got to destroy this adorable little cottage. And it gives you some ideas on how to build and a build area. If you right-click hold the mouse, you can rotate around the build area. The different tools you can build with are blocks, wheels, mechanical items, weaponry, flight items, armor, and then you can also search for cool things. I'm going to build with blocks. When you click on the block, it just simply lets you place them where you want, kind of like you're playing with Lincoln Logs, except these snap on and you don't have to clean them up at the end of the day. There are almost unlimited ways to build, so you can just do whatever sounds fun to you. I'm going to just make a simple frame, and then I'm going to tie it together with some braces, giving it that extra bit of strength. Clicking, holding, and snapping uh, helps your items stay together. Now you may ask, how are you going to steer? Once again, there are many, many ways to do this. I am going to steer with the large wheel, and I'm just simply going to attach it and attach it on both sides. And then when you drop it down to the ground and press the spacebar for play, you can see that when you go forward or backwards, it does that, but you can't turn. So here's how I'm going to fix it. I'm going to hit spacebar. I'm going to switch to the key mapper, and I'm going to make mine work a little bit like a tank. So I'm going to click on these keys, and I'm going to switch them. So instead of being forward and backward, I want them to be backward and forward. I'm going to do the same thing for the back wheel, backward and forward. So I just hover and then I touch the key on the keyboard. Now when I press space bar, when I go just forward or just backwards, my vehicle can turn. You may want to do that on the left right button. That's up to you. And then actually my vehicle at this point, I bet you can destroy this cottage. Boom. Now I don't want to destroy it yet though. I want to back up and redo it. So I'm going to return to menu. I'm going to go back into Ypsilon. And this time I want to try it with some cool weaponry. Let's look at what they have to offer when we click the weapons. We've got spikes. We've got circular saws. We've got blades. We've got cannons. I am going to put the drill on the front of mine. And then I'm going to also add a nifty little cannon and a nifty little cannon. Once again, when I hit space, I can start my vehicle. I'm going to get used to holding those two arrows so that it goes forward. Remember, C is the letter for my cannons. And boom, I succeeded. And then I also can keep driving around. And I'm going to go finish things off with my drill and my wheels. Boom. Zone conquered. So there you have it, friends. That is Besiege. It is $10 of crazy fun, crazy building, cool things you can create. I uh, hope you have fun with it. Uh, please add questions and comments you may have in the comments below. And if you come up with better ways to create your projects, please share them as well. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, no. 
Zombie Apocalypse.